The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today we celebrate this feast of the seven joys of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And we first reflect that everybody wants to be happy, right? There's not a single person who is walking on the face of the earth who does not seek happiness happiness. That's part of our human nature. Uh, so that has to be accepted as a fact. And what we should do in seeking that happiness is we should turn to the Blessed Virgin Mary, our mother and teacher in the Spirit, because she will teach us how to be happy, how to find that happiness that all of our hearts desire. We learn from Our Lady, what does she say in the Gospel? She says, My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. So we see that Our Lady's joys have the Lord as their source. Every single one of her joys is in the Lord. And this is not surprising. This is also affirmed by sacred scripture in St. Paul's letter to the Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. He says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And the fathers and doctors of the church, in commenting on that, they note that we should, we can and should rejoice in the Lord, not in the world. Now, this is the great deception because I would say the vast majority of humanity is seeking to find their joy in the world and the things of the world. But the scripture says, rejoice in the Lord. Our Lady, by her own example and testimony, my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. That's where we should be seeking to find our joys, in the Lord. And notice, not just sometimes, but always. Rejoice in the Lord always. Now, you might scratch your head and say, well, you know, there's seven joys of Our Lady, but there's also seven sorrows. Was she still rejoicing in, those, in the midst of those sorrows? And the answer is actually yes. Rejoice in the Lord always. How do we deal with sadness? 
Again, St. Paul explains this in his letter to the Romans, chapter 12, verse 12. He says, Rejoice in hope. Rejoice in hope. So we need to remember that in the moments of sadness, that we can still rejoice in hope. Because joy is not merely a fleeting emotion, but it is a deep-rooted assurance in God's promises and his presence in our lives. So his promises, that's what we are hoping for, the fulfillment of his promises, namely eternal life. So in the midst of life's sadness and sorrows, we look to eternal life where our hope is, right? And in hoping for eternal life, we can experience joy, right? even in the midst of life's trials. Now, in order to have that hope, you also need to have a strong faith because hope builds on faith and charity builds on both faith and hope. So faith stands as the foundation. Mary's joy is deeply intertwined with her faith. This is the testimony that we have from her cousin Elizabeth in today's gospel. She believed in the fulfillment of God's promises when Elizabeth proclaims, blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. Now, that word blessed in the Greek is makarios, which can also be translated happy. And sometimes you find this in the English translation of the Psalms. The word uh, is translated as happy, or even sometimes in the gospel translations. So Our Lady, happy is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. This is the faith that we have to have, that the Lord's words are true. We can believe in them with a rock-solid faith and build our lives upon them. That's another way that our happiness uh, will be assured, both in this life and in the next. Now, lastly, I just want to mention that there is a missionary aspect to our joy. This is what Pope Francis teaches us in his encyclical, The Joy of the Gospel, that there is a missionary dimension to it, that it calls for a renewed commitment to evangelization, urging Christians to share the joy of the gospel with everyone because joy is not only a personal experience, but also a communal mission. And again, we see this in the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that first joy when she received the Lord in her womb at the Annunciation. What does she then go and do? As we read in today's gospel, she visits her cousin, St. Elizabeth. She shares that joy of the presence of the Lord with her cousin and St. John the Baptist, who leaped in her womb, okay, in the womb of Elizabeth, filled with joy. So this is what Our Lady does. As she receives the Lord, she brings him to other, along with uh, the joy that the presence of the Lord brings. This is what we are also called to do. And so finally, I like these uh, last words of Pope Francis when he says, alongside Mary, joy expands. Because where Mary is, there we also find the Lord. So anybody who is struggling with sadness, depression, um, you know, loneliness and these type of things, seek your happiness where it can be found, in the Lord and alongside Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.